Welcome to A-Level English Language at Hearts and Essex. We are the team of English language teachers and we are delighted that you are considering this as one of your A-Level options. So, what does the course involve? At A-Level, English language is assessed by 80% exam and 20% coursework. The content of the exam papers is outlined here for you. And as you can see, the course deals with very different topics compared to GCSE English language. There is much more focus on linguistic analysis, learning about how children acquire language and how language changes over time are areas which will be new to you. You will, however, remember analysing and comparing language in the media at GCSE and will also have completed your own original transactional writing, perhaps in the form of a letter, speech or article. Three areas cross over these topics. Gender and the study of how men and women differ in the way they use language. The influence that technology has on our language and how power is exerted through the use of language. For the coursework element, there is an exciting opportunity to carry out your own independent research into an area of your interest. In the past, we have had students focus on the language of advertising, sports commentary, political figures and contrasts in American and British English. In addition to the research essay, you will create an academic poster outlining the research process and your findings. One question that we are frequently asked is how is A-Level different or similar to GCSE? You will have the opportunity to develop your own writing skills further, but now it will be in relation to a topical language issue. Recent questions have asked students to write about how technology is ruining the English language or the importance of correct spelling. You will still be analysing the language of written text but with far greater emphasis on technical terms and theories. At A level there is a greater expectation that you will use technical terminology to describe features of language in order to give a more scientific analysis of language data. In addition, you will be required to learn and to apply a wide range of theories to the data. Whereas at GCSE you will have focused on the written word, there is a greater focus on spoken language at A-level, particularly when considering gender and child language acquisition. In order to study A-level English language at Hearts and Essex, you will need at least a level 6 in your GCSE English language. You should also be keen to read non-fiction media texts such as newspapers and magazines, as well as studying the work of theorists. Hello, I am Mrs Raymond and I'm subject leader for English here at Hearts and Essex. Hello, I'm Mrs Karens and I lead on A-level English teaching at Hearts and Essex. Today we have three of our current A-level students with us who are going to share with you their thoughts about what it's like to study English A-level. I chose to do English language because I just feel like it's a very interesting subject. It allows you to go into more depth. You can like pick apart the language and like, know how to structure your answers, so I think it's pretty nice. For me the best thing is probably the coursework because you can do it on whatever you want, so it can be a subject that really interests you, but the most challenging probably is the terminology because it's a bit difficult to wrap your head around, but once you master it you'll be fine and it's a good skill. The, like At GCSE it's a lot more narrower and you only have to focus on things like uh, language analysis, but when you go up to A-level there's like way more to learn. like theories and different topics like child language acquisition and language change. So there's a lot more to take in, but I feel like once you get past the first year, then um, you get the hang of it. 
I think people should study A-level English language because it gives you good analytical skills that you can use in various areas in sit form, such as like your personal statement, your EPQ, and even if you want to take other essay-based subjects, it will help you there. I think it gives you the skill to um, identify um, things that you learn in the classroom in real life, like for example, child language acquisition, because I have a, a little cousin. Um, whenever he does something that Miss Baker's told me in the classroom, it gives me that sense of achievement, like, oh, I recognise that and I can, you know, use it further on in my life instead of just, like, finishing it after the exam, so, yeah. After A-levels, I plan on studying law. Um, I think that English is very helpful for that because it helps you, like, learn how to persuade, how to argue, how to construct the way that you want to, like, present yourself to, like, defer, like, the court, maybe. So I think it'll be really interesting.